so let us discuss today about a topic in 12th standard and that is biotechnology and its applications and uh, in this particular uh, the chapter so we are going to discuss about the, the applications of biotechnology in different sectors so the first sector it is agriculture so how this biotechnology can be used in improving the the crop yields so that is the agricultural aspect and along with that we can see other various sectors like so applications of biotechnology even in medicine as well as in diagnostics so yes by using biotechnology we can diagnose certain diseases as well as this particular uh, the field can be used in the production of energy so that is energy production and bio remediation and one more it is this particular technology can be used for the production of processed food items so but today i am going to concentrate on this particular topic that is application of biotechnology in agriculture so in this particular approach i have taken one particular topic and that is the development of nematode resistant plant so we know that nematode it is a type of the worm and this worm it causes disease in both plants as well as animals so it infects plants as well as animals so here we are discussing today with respect to plant a particular nematode which is called as meliodigoine incognitia this particular nematode no it infects to the roots of a, a particular commercial plant known as tobacco plant and tobacco plant is highly economically important crop plant and when this nematode infects to the plant then it is a very great loss to farmers because this nematode it reduces the yield of the tobacco so it is a very headache for the farmers then how to get rid of this one important that we need to stress here is this particular nematode is a microscopic yes we cannot see this particular nematode through our naked eye it is microscopic organism so it is very difficult to remove if it is a microscopic means by spraying certain insecticides then pesticides we can get rid of this nematode but the thing is it is microscopic we can't see through the naked eyes so then what is the solution for this problem and that particular solution came from this biotechnological field and that is rna interference mechanism this is the novel strategy which is mainly uh, employed in this biotechnological field in order to develop the nematode resistant plant and you know this rna interference it is also known as gene silencing why it is known as gene silencing normally the function of gene is it mainly produces mrna gene produces mrna and mrna in turn codes for a specific protein this is the action of gene correct so here what is in this particular technology happens is here a rna it is introduced and that rna it mainly silences the action or function of the gene so when the gene is inactivated when the function of the gene is interfered then the specific protein is not formed in the nematode so as a result we can get rid of from that nematode so how exactly it is this particular mechanism no this rna interference mechanism naturally it is mainly absorbed in eukaryotic organism yes this mechanism it's a natural defense mechanism that is absorbed in eukaryotic organism so by absorbing that particular mechanism with the help of biotechnology here we are introducing that particular technique in developing nematode the specific or nematode resistant plant so now let us understand about the process of rna interference how this particular mechanism it is mainly carried out so here we need to target nematode gene 
okay remember here we need to target nematode gene so in order to target that nematode gene you know, we can synthesize the nematode specific gene in the laboratory so here the first artificial target gene of nematode is mainly synthesized by using the complementary dna mechanism in the laboratory we can synthesize the the gene which targets the the nematode and this gene through biotechnological process through agrobacterium mediated vector we can transfer these genes into the plant cell so here the tobacco plant cell so that receives the gene through this rdna technology when these gene introduced into the plant cell then these gene expresses itself and it produces two types of rna one it is sense rna another one it is anti sense rna so these rnas are produced in the plants and this sense and anti anti sense rna you know these are complementary with each other so as a result they form the double stranded rna so usually rna occurs in single stranded only but very rarely we can observe the double stranded but in this novel strategy so sense and anti sense rna which are formed in plant cell those rna form a complementary base pair and form the double stranded rna and once these double stranded rnas are formed no these rnas are cut into a smaller pieces by a protein and this protein naturally present in plant cell and name of that protein it is dicer and this dicer protein cut the double stranded rna into the smaller fragments now we call these smaller fragments of rna as small interfering rna we call these rnas as small interfering rna at this particular time if nematode eats the plant cell at this particular time when nematode eats the cell then these rna enter into the nematode cell so here in the right side is the representation of nematode cell now within this nematode cell we can observe those small interfering rna and that small interfering rna mainly interferes with the functioning of the nematode rna and this particular uh, group of small interfering rna it form a complex known as the risk risc what is this risc complex is risc is nothing but it is rna inducing silencing complex this particular complex silences the rna it silences the rna as a result proteins are not formed here so what happens here is so these double stranded small interfering rna where the bonds are present these bonds are mainly cleaved by the enzymes of the nematode and then the sense rna part they joins together and that form the complementary base pair with the nematode mrna so this is sense rna and that forms a complementary base pair with the nematode rna so when the mrna of the nematode is blocked by this sense rna then what happens then the necessary proteins are not formed when necessary proteins are not formed eventually the nematode couldn't survive so what are the process or the steps that i explained it is given one by one point here the first one it is by using an agrobacterium mediated vector the gene is transferred into the tobacco plants that is the host cell second point when this dna is introduced when the gene is introduced into the plant then within the plant cell sense and anti sense rnas are formed that form a complementary base to form double stranded rna within the tobacco plant at this particular time when nematode uh, uh, eats those cells then double stranded rna entered into the nematode and it silences the action of the the specific rna which is required for the production of necessary proteins which is required for the survival of the nematode when those necessary proteins are not produced because of this rna interference then eventually that nematode dies so parasite could not survive because of the the proteins because those proteins are very essential so in this way so 
the farmers will get rid of the, the nematode from the tobacco plant and this mechanism is known as RNA interference. In this particular mechanism, the source for the complementary RNA, so mention no artificial, the target gene, the source for the complementary RNA could be from, so the virus which is having the RNA genomes or the mobile genetic elements that replicate via an RNA intermediate that is the complementary DNA process through that cDNA process. So, the gene mainly synthesized in the laboratory. So, here is the two pictures of the, the tobacco root plant. Here you can see the roots of a typical the control plant which are healthy plant and here in the second image you can observe the roots of the tobacco plant which was infected with the nematode but after this RNA interference mechanism so it is mainly controlled the damage of the root mainly controlled from the nematode through this RNA interference mechanism. So this is a very important novel strategies which are employed to develop the nematode the specific or nematode resistant the plants. So now few questions related to this topic we will discuss. So the first question is RNA I stands for RNA I stands for so it is nothing but it is RNA interference that's correct so RNA interference and one more question related to this in nematode resistance by RNA interference some specific genes were introduced which forms double stranded RNA. So, specific genes introduced to form the double stranded RNA. These were introduced in. So, these genes were introduced in nematode or the host plant. Yes, it is the host plant that is the tobacco plant. So, this is about the, the topic RNA interference. Thank you all.